Yo, what's up guys, I'm Raven, and in this video I'm going to show you the best window settings and the best in-game settings so you can boost your FPS in Valorant. I'm going to make this tutorial easy and not that long so you can follow every step and now enjoy the video. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the in-game settings. So go to settings, go to video and make sure Windows mode is on full screen. Uh, it's just uh, prioritize the game's performance over background process. So if you have, uh, let's say, a browser running in the background, it's going to prioritize your game and it's go not going to be that laggy. Next thing we got is the resolution. Make sure uh, you can play on 1920 by 1080 but if you feel like the game is lagging, you can go on more um, you can try to lower your resolution so you can play on 4040 by 1080 which is really great resolution I sometimes play on it and yeah next thing we got is the limit FPS max FPS for me everything here is off even if you're running on 65 it's better to be on, uh, on off because you can just to make sure uh, your in-game settings isn't capping FPS and you can have over 60 FPS so we are moving to graphics quality first thing we got is the multi thread rendering make sure this is on uh, it improves your CPU performance and graphics quality next thing we got is the material quality everything here is low so you can have the best FPS in game Vignette VSync off anti-lizing none anti-tropic filter 1x and everything here else is off if you want to have the best fps like i said you need to turn everything off the game is still going to look good but make sure these things are off next thing we got is the stats for me everything here is high on height but i left client fps text only so i can see how much fps i have but i don't everything else is on height so it's just not distracting me and it's better so yeah that's the in-game settings so the next thing I'm going to show you are the NVIDIA control panel settings. Right click and click on NVIDIA control panel. Wait for a few seconds to load. And now from here, go to manage 3D settings so we can uh, customize it for the best performance. Image scaling, make sure it's off. We got anti ambitious occlusion, make sure it's off. We got anisotropic filtering, make sure it's off. It's an already option we got in Valorant, so it's best to keep it on off. We got the anti-lizing, make sure it's off. This is uh, removing the edges on textures. So yeah, we can turn it off. We got gamma correction. This settings allows you to enable gamma correction anti-lizing to improve the image quality, but we can't use the setting in Valorant, so it should be off. Next thing we got is the anti-lizing mode, uh, also keep it off, it's just uh, shows how exactly anti-lizing will be applied in your game, so yeah. Next thing we got is the background application max frame rate, for me it's off, I saw a lot of people keep it, keeping it on 20, but for me the off is the best. From here you can just choose your GPU and yeah next thing we got is the low latency mode it's ultra it's a great feature it helps you reduce input lag and also boost your fps it's great for Valorant because it's a competitive game and it's helping you to remove the latency we got max frame rate it's off so it's not capping your fps in Valorant we got multi frame sampled AA this is also off we got open geo rendering GPU you can add your GPU here, power management mode, prefer maximum performance. So allow you these settings allow your GPU to go. These settings allow your GPU to have and produce maximum performance. So keep it on prefer maximum performance. Next thing we got is the preferred refresh rate. We can go on highest available or application control. It's whatever here. We got uh, texture filtering quality quality it should be on high performance threaded optimization is on auto so it allows the app to use the cpu cores and it helping you boost your performance and yeah so yeah this is my nvidia control panel settings and it's going to help you boost your fps it's not going to be like a big boost but it's pretty good so you can try it for you and see if your game is going to run smoother so yeah so now I'm going to show you some, how to say it, Windows tricks to boost your FPS even more. So go to the Windows search and type game mode settings. Uh, 
make sure it's on is just optimizing your PC for gaming and it's minimizing background process and focusing resources towards the game and it should be on. Next thing we got is the Xbox Game Bar, make sure it's on. As you can see, it's enabling Xbox Game Bar for things like recording gameplay, chatting with ranks and receiving, so make sure it's off. Another thing I'm going to show you, go to, go to power settings, power and sleep settings, then go to additional power settings, and from here make sure it's on high performance, you'll see visible performance improvements in Valorant, so make sure it's on high performance. Another thing that is going to boost your FPS is go to the task manager, then go to startup and from here you can disable anything that you are not using. Let's say I'm not using the, the wallpaper engine, just go and disable it. If you want to enable any of this, just go, right click and go to enable. But everything you are not using, make sure it's disabled so, so it's not affecting your FPS. Another thing I'm going to show you is the graphic settings. From here, you, as you can see, if we enable this, it reduces the latency and improving the performance, but you need to restart your PC after turning the setting on. Other thing we can do is go to browse. From here, we can go to live, shooter games, binaries, Win64 and choose Valorant. So it's running on the highest performance available. So make sure to do it. And the last thing I'm going to show you in this video is go to GeForce Experience. So from here you can see if, you're, if you have any new drivers you can install. So just go to Express Installation and install the new drivers. It's going to make your PC run better. And yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of content, make sure to leave a comment what, what future videos you want to see. So yeah guys, see you in the next one.